I want to continue along the uh, line of questioning from Senator Murray, uh, Mr. Secretary, on this campaign of sabotage that has been waged by the administration, uh, driving up rates uh, all across the country. Um, this is uh, a quote from the uh, head of the largest health insurance company in uh, Maryland uh, talking about why they were going to be dramatically increasing rates, especially for plans that tend to be used by sicker patients. Uh, he attributed these rate increases to the continuing actions on the part of the administration to systemically undermine the market and make it almost impossible to carry out our mission. Uh, in making that statement, he talked specifically about uh, PPO plans which are, are favored by sicker patients, people with chronic illness. Uh, and in fact, in one of those plans in the recent rate filing, uh, premiums went up uh, by 90 percent uh, in Maryland. Um, and so it gets me to this question of the short term, um, what we would call the junk plans, the short term plans um, and and the effect that it will have on the market. Uh, the worry, of course, as you know, is and the reason why President Obama moved the time duration down to three months is that because these plans are not subject to the uh, requirements that you cover people with pre-existing conditions the same, that you have a minimum standard of benefits, you'd have a migration of healthy people to these plans uh, and you'd leave all the sick people, people with pre-existing conditions behind. And I think you're already seeing that in the price increases on the exchanges. Um, and so that's the reason why the Obama administration said, listen, we're going to make these short-term plans actually short-term, three months. Um, so how do you gauge what insurance companies are already predicting, uh, that there will be a massive migration of healthy people into these uh, short-term plans that are, you know, are now effectively a complementary option to the exchanges, driving rates up for uh, people with pre-existing conditions, people who, um, can't, who simply can't go on those plans if they don't cover everything that they need? So, Senator, first, good to see you again. And uh uh, I would say first, the, it's important to remember that what's been proposed, nothing is final, but what's been proposed on the short-term plans is to restore what President Obama had in place until the eve of his retirement from office. So he kept 12 months in place, the entirety of his presidency in the program. Um, it's next important to remember that of the about 10 million people in the individual market, over 82 percent of them were buying their insurance for them. They're subsidized. People are not going to be leaving subsidized insurance with the full slate of benefits for these short-term plans. The individuals that are going to that these plans are going to be available for, and that's going to make sense for folks who've been left out in the cold by the Affordable Care Act. Now, those 28 million folks who are sitting out there who can't afford these skyrocketing price increases that happened under President Obama in his own plan. And we're just trying to make options available. They're not going to be right for everybody. We're being very transparent about that, but want those as options for those if it makes sense for them. But what we really have to be working on together is fixing what is wrong, what's not working here, which is the Affordable Care Act. It's not delivering. The price increases were happening before President Trump. They're continuing. Um, it's not functioning. And we want to work together to come up with a, with a new system. It's just not, uh, with all due respect, it's just not true. It's not functioning, even with this deliberate campaign of sabotage, even with the administration cutting the open enrollment in period in half, even with the administration stopping to market these plans, even with the administration refusing to pay for the navigators. The same number of people signed up um, last year that signed up the year before. I don't think that will continue because at some point, 90 percent price increases um, are going to force people uh, off no matter how big the subsidies get. Uh, so uh, I'm very worried, Mr. Chairman, about uh, the, the separation of the market into very healthy and very sick as these short-term plans now become, um, uh, you know, true viable options right next to the exchanges. Uh, look forward to continuing the dialogue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 